Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and have you ever wanted to charge your smartphone with power that's generated while you exercise? Well, here's a device that allows you to do just that. It's called the Ampi Move, and it's apparently the world's smallest wearable motion charger. What it does is that you strap it to your arm or leg, or put it on a belt loop, and then you move around and do some exercise. It should then convert that motion to power which is stored in its inbuilt lithium ion battery. Now as you can see it's packaged really nicely, it comes in a great box which even has a little window in the front which allows you to see the product. Inside you get the Ampi itself and an accessory pack which includes a belt mount which Ampi calls the Go Clip and an armband slash leg band, plus you also get a USB cable. Now the Ampi is really well built, it has a pleasing soft touch rubbery finish, but it's actually a little bit heavier than I'd like. It's 140 grams, which means it's about half the height and the same width as my Moto G smartphone, but it's actually almost the same weight. Now the Ampi is very easy to use and it has an extremely simple interface. It has five LEDs and two buttons. The button on the right gives you an instantaneous power reading, so in other words how much power is being generated at the moment. If you're shaking the device really vigorously, then the bottom LED will light up really bright which tells you that a lot of power is going into the battery. And if you're doing some moderate exercise, they'll be quite dim which indicates that maybe you're not putting in as much effort as you should be. And the button on the left is quite simple as well. It lights up the top row of LEDs to tell you the remaining capacity in the battery. So all four LEDs lit would mean that the Ampi was 100% full. So it looks good and it's packaged nicely, but how well does the Ampi actually work? Now to test this, I actually got out my old collection of iPods. Now don't laugh, the reason is because all of them were fully discharged, so I thought it would be a great test of Ampi's capabilities. What I found was really impressive. I was able to charge up my iPod Nano 4th generation, a Nano 6th generation, and even an old iPod mini, and I still had some juice left over to give a bit of a boost to my Moto G. So it's a great little battery pack, but can you generate electricity with it when you go for a jog? Well, my test for this was very unscientific, and I'll tell you why. There's a companion app called Ampi Plus, which installs on your smartphone. And it should, theoretically, allow you to see the remaining battery life in your Ampi, so I could give you exact figures of how much was left before and after exercise. Unfortunately though, when I tried to install it on my Moto G, which was running Android Lollipop, it kind of worked I guess, it went up to the splash screen, but then it kind of froze after that and it wouldn't do anything else. So I soon forgot all about that and I used the LEDs built into the front of the device instead. I discharged the battery so that it was right on the threshold of the second LED. And what I mean by that is I discharged it to the first LED and I shook it really vigorously for about 10 minutes until it just went up to the second. And then I threw it in my pocket and I went on a walk. And I found something very interesting. The vibrations when you have it in your pocket actually aren't enough to make the inductor, which is the device that generates the electricity, actually move enough to do anything useful. You know how earlier I was talking about the instantaneous power LED, you're able to press a button and see how much power is being generated currently. Well when you're walking along and it's on the belt clip, you can press that button and no light is shown at all, which tells me that it's really not doing anything. But you might be saying, well this is not a product for walkers, it's for runners and joggers. Will it work any better if you're running a marathon or something? Well I found that the answer is yes, if you're running then it vibrates a lot more and the blue LED will come on. So it's a complete success right, it works as intended, well don't say that so fast. I did a bit of research on Ampi's Kickstarter page and it turns out that a lot of people aren't too happy about it, they think that it actually doesn't work. But it does, you just need to be very patient. This website did a bit of a test, and it turns out that it would take 10 hours of running to fully charge Ampi's battery, so you'd be a little bit exhausted by that stage. Seriously though, at the amount that most people exercise, it would take about a week, maybe two weeks to charge it, which means if you're really desperate for a little bit of extra juice for your phone, you're going to have to wait a very long time. So as we've seen, Ampi is not too successful as a motion charging device, but it does have one redeeming feature, its versatility. As you can see there, it has two USB ports on its base. One is a full size USB and it's used for charging devices, so anything from an iPhone to a Pebble smartwatch. 
But the other one is a micro USB which allows you to top up the Ampy's 1800 mAh battery from your computer or from the wall. So that means that you can essentially use it as just a standard battery pack that you can top up whenever you feel like it, plus you can have the added novelty of fooling around with motion charging. So the Ampy is an interesting product. While it might not be too successful at its primary purpose, it is a very nice looking battery pack and hey it's a fun talking point with your friends. So I'm Handy Andy and I hope you enjoyed this review. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more tech reviews and as always thanks for watching.